All right, folks, how are you? We got a special number two slot. I know these folks pretty darn well, and there's not hardly a finer musicians anywhere, singers of songs and harmonizers, but they're just great A people, too. Usually I bust people's balls, but I, I, I don't know. I just, well, I would say never mind. I'm, I'm going down the wrong road here. With a, it's early. Give me time. All the way out of eastern Kentucky, folks, this is an ancient sound, but it's current. It's rock and roll. It's old time. It's all the damn things that are good about the mountains that we live in and some of the bad wrapped in there for heart-wrenching effect. I love these folks. Please give a warm welcome all the way down from Kentucky to the local honeys.
Mr. Montana Hobbs on the five string banjo for you. We just went to a fiddler's convention a couple weekends ago and Montana took the blue ribbon in the adult old time banjo contest. So we brought mm. our best. Thank you all for being here with local honeys. We haven't been in Asheville for a while. It's been a few months. We've never been at the Orange Spiel, and this is our first time at AVL Fest. So thank you all for having us. <laughs> Or welcome to fill this empty space up here. You don't have to if you don't want to. If it's going to be weird, you don't have to do it. I don't care. But it is a festival. I know sometimes whenever you're indoors, it messes with your psyche a little bit. You get too comfortable. There's air conditioning. There's dark spots back there. But come on up. guitar sing that song for you all the way from Woodford County, Kentucky, my best good friend in the whole wide world. This is Linda Jean Stokely. Well, Asheville, you may not know it, but me and Linda Jean went to college years and years ago. That's where we met. I thought I was going to be a veterinarian. 
And the intro to biology said, no, you're not. You better figure something else out. Ain't that right? At our little school in Eastern Kentucky, Moorhead State University, they had banjo lessons. So I signed up for banjo lessons. I didn't even own a banjo. I just thought it would be an easy A. And it was. And I walked into the Kentucky Center for Traditional Music and I met Linda Jean there. She was the only girl in a program full of blue bluegrass boys. And that's rough on a girl. You get what I'm saying? A lot of harassment. So she said, you're gonna be my friend. And I said, okay. And she said, you wanna come over and play some music? And I was like, I know like three tunes on this thing. And she said, that's okay, we'll burn them up. And we've been doing that for about 12 years. Playing the same songs over and over, burning them up. <laughs> this one in particular is one of my favorite songs to play with Linda and to play with this whole damn band back here. Written by an Eastern Kentucky national treasure, Miss Jean Ritchie out of Prairie County, Kentucky. If you don't know, Prairie County's Hazard, Kentucky, and it was a uh, epicenter of Kentucky coal for a very long time. My mom grew up in Hazard. Billions of dollars came out of Hazard to power the rest of the world, and the LNN Railroad ran right through it until one day the trains quit running. And you notice that if you ever, if you grew up in a railroad town, you notice when the whistle doesn't blow. Textbooks will call it the boom and the bust. But it's all about that whistle. So Gene Ritchie wrote this song about it's called the L and N Don't Stop Here Anymore.
over there on the electric guitar for y'all tonight. All the way from Flat Bottom, Kentucky, that's Mr. Don Rogers. Oh, 
Y'all, please put your hands together for back there on the drums from Ona, West Virginia, yeah. Max Nolte. <coughs> Bear with me a moment. We're doing a set change. And we're changing locations here on the banjo. Very small town in eastern Kentucky, Ladyville, Kentucky. <laughs> oh, damn, somebody knows where it is. <laughs> there wasn't a whole lot to do. My dad worked for the railroad. He didn't take us on a lot of vacations, but he did consider uh, driving us all the way to Middle Tennessee in the hottest month of July uh, to show gated mules. And that counted as our vacation. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you pay 15 bucks to put on a real hot wool suit and a goofy ass looking hat, and you go right around the ring a couple times, and then usually you lose. I did. But every now and then you'd win, and you'd get a, you'd get a blue ribbon ass. But his friend, Paul Stamper, had a bunch of, had a bunch of mules, had a bunch of livestock. Times got rough. Paul had to before the end of his life, he had to sell off a lot of his animals, a lot of his stock, and he, but he never sold the Red Rooster. He was a 12-time world grand champion, almost 40 years old when he finally died. He, Paul never would get rid of him. And I got to thinking about that and came up with this. It's called The Last Mule in the Holler. I wrote this with my very good friend, Miss Anna Klein, who used to spend a whole lot of time down here in Asheville. She used to show her ass around Asheville a lot too.
Back here on the bass, all the way from Rush, Kentucky, it's Mr. Chris Justice. Yeah. Keeping it funky. We're gonna get even more weird. <clears throat> Buckle up.
cold stool may be fraught for the rest of my days. Dance through unseen territories, make a bedtime under stories, track my growth by the magic moon phase. Thank you all so very much for being here. We're the local honeys. I think you're supposed to say that a couple times. It's an old one. It's a very old song. Don't you know that's wrong, darling? Don't you know that's wrong? Love another woman and you don't love me, babe. Don't you know that's wrong? I can't get along with you. I can't get along with you. Work for my money, bring it all to you. What else can a poor girl do?
time for a couple more. <laughs> Thank y'all for being here. Uh, we'll be back there selling merch. Come say hi. We'd love to meet some of y'all. Reconnect, visit. We got our new album out there. It's not really all that new anymore. We're setting our sights on the next thing, you know. But we're still selling it. You know what I'm saying? Because we have it. And uh, it stays in Linda's apartment, which uh, is not very big. Not, not a lot of room for extra stuff. So if you could take some of this stuff off our hands, you take it home. Well, on that album, I've got a song that I wrote by my papa. It's called Better Than I Deserve. That was something he used to say all the time. Thank you, AB, ABL Fest, the Orange Pill. Go get you a drink at the bar. It's hot outside. Tip your bartender. Come see us at the merch table. Thank you to Griffin. Thank you to the sound and crew and everybody here. And Kevin Smith, our old buddy Kevin Smith, who introed us. Just the world. 
that's all for us, y'all. Thank you so much for having us. We're the local honeys. I'm going to tell you my friends' names again. That's Don Rogers over there, Max Nolte, Chris Justice. That's Linda Jean, and I'm Montana. We'll see y'all next time. We'll be back down here, I'm sure. Hope to see everyone in. Come buy some shit. Appreciate you. Thank you. The local honeys, give it up. You do better than that. That's something special. Thank y'all so much. That that went by way too fast for my taste. I need more.
Wow, that guy's yeah, that was special. Thank you, local honeys. We got Randall Bramlett coming up next. He's a legend. <laughs> 